we are using see okay gluteus maximus okay usually we ask the nerve supply of gluteus maximus that is supplied by inferior gluteal nerve hmm? from gluteus medius medius if you open this gluteus maximus what is the next structure you can see gluteus medius medius is supplied by superior gluteal nerve so maximus is supplied by medius is supplied by superior gluteal nerve two structures over then the third nerve you can see one nerve is coming down that is your sciatic nerve sciatic nerve sciatic nerve root value is L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. After the sciatic nerve comes down and it divides into two branches. One is tibial branch, tibial. This is tibial. Another one is common peroneal. Tibial, two branches. Look at the two branches. Look at tibial. This is tibial and this is called common peroneal. peroneal. Which one is going laterally? Common peroneal. So what is the bone situ uh, situated laterally? Fibula. So this common peroneal nerve only by, uh, goes near the neck of the fibula and it divides into two branches. Okay, so common peroneal is related to which bone? Fibula. fibula. Which part of the fibula? Neck of the fibula. Very good, neck of the fibula. So this tibial straight away it goes back. Which compartment of leg is this? Posterior compartment. Of. Very good. So posterior compartment of leg is supplied by tibial nerve. Okay, okay. And lateral. this is called lateral compartment. Lateral compartment of leg is supplied by common peroneal will be divided into two. That I will tell you. Okay, superficial peroneal and deep peroneal. Okay, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, good. Up a superficial peroneal, you know, deep peroneal, you know. Deep peroneal goes to which compartment? Anterior compartment. Upper superficial peroneal goes to? Lateral compartment. compartment. Very good. So today's topic is this posterior compartment of thigh. So shall we start? Mm -hmm. So you have to hold this, all the muscles. Ready? So I am holding all the muscles. First I asked you to see the toe. Then only you can see which side it belongs to. Okay, in the toe learning we have to search here. So this one. So this is which side? Lateral side or medial side? Lateral side. Little toe means lateral side. So lateral side you will be having a muscle called biceps. Biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. <coughs> so this you have to take in exam. I am already I have told you how to take the specimen. You hold it and then lift it up. If you lift, you can see one muscle that is long head this is which head long, long head but the other one which is lying along with the femur is called short, short head. head the long head of biceps femoris and short, short head of biceps femoris two heads long head mm. as well as short, short head over then go here here you have to take one thin slender muscle can you see slender muscle yes, you know, nicely you can see the slender this is called semi tendinosus because it is tendon like so it is called semi tendinosus Upper, if this is semi tendinosus, look at this. This looks like a membrane. membrane. So it semi is called semi membranosus. So this is semi tendinosus and this is semi membranosus. Reflect this too. Inside that, you have a bulky muscle called hamstring part of adductor magnus. Because adductor magnus has how many parts? Two parts. One is called adductor compartment part, another one is called hamstring part. Hamstring means to all these muscles together it is called as hamstring. hamstring. In the muscle element it is called as hamstring. Repeat again, number one is biceps. This is long head and this is short head. Semi-membranosis. Semi-membranosis. Understood? Okay, right. All these muscles, hamstring muscles are supplied by tibial, tibial component of shared, tibial component of shared, except the short head of biceps humorous is supplied by common peroneal part. This is what we want in your exam. Okay, repeat again, all these muscles are supplied by tibial component of except short head of biceps humorous, which is supplied by common peroneal. That's it.